you hear it? I heard it, yeah. I heard it and felt it. And... Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Southern Adirondack Outdoors. Uh, today on the mill, we have a black cherry. It's roughly about 20 inches diameter and about six foot, eight inches long. And you may have seen this one before. It was in a video of a uh, Winchiano black cherry with the, well, I can't remember what I called it, but something about Winchiano black cherry. And today we got a full complement. We got Andy over there playing with Fenway. So we're cutting this into, uh, I think we're doing five quarter, if I remember right. So we'll get set up and we'll get sawing. Do you know how you're going to mill? I don't know whether I should stack these as a pool or uh, uh, put it here for a resawing. I was planning on resawing and getting one by whatever you want out of them. Or you can just slap the whole thing and then do it as a burl, or burl, or whatever you call it. I mean, I can and still can get. Rip it later. Yeah, because I'm just going to put use it to trace out templates yeah. and cards. So you want, you want wider than better than it. So you must get like two arms crossing each other out in there or something like that. Either way, it doesn't have to. There's a lot of small stuff I need to get out of them too. Mm -hmm. All the back spindles and all that. Mm -hmm. so. So. Well, we'll just slap it then. Okay. So.
Did you hear it? I heard it, yeah. I heard it and felt it and... Uh, I don't know if you guys that came to on camera or not, if you guys heard it, but this crack just opened up a little down two-thirds of the length of the board. Uh, but we'll see what we can get out of it. That one just did it. That's what that crack was. Oh, I thought that was a forks. No, it was that yeah. one. So we got a lot of tension going on here. This one that was sitting over here on the forks just popped as well. And that's a good uh, half to five eighths crack. It just opened up. Hmm, have to rethink this. Well, we had a little bit of change of plans, everybody. We ended up standing it up. We got this crack going through here. That's the one that's popping, making those wide cracks on the boards from earlier. So we're hoping we can still get something out of this besides uh, Dunninger firewood. That. What? And that's that. Boy, look at it. Yeah, look at look, look at how much that curves out there like that. Yeah. Wow. Wow. <laughs> all over the place. Yeah. A zigzaggy pith tree. Mm -hmm. Six. But I think I can get small sections of the straight grain. Yeah. Yeah. Or smaller stuff. So, <clears throat> I think we're okay. 
Last scrap for the wood stove. <laughs> I think we're good. You can yeah. Some more stack. Okay, everybody. That was a pretty questionable log. A lot of stress in it, a lot of cracks, a lot of defects. But we got Look at some. This pits we ever saw. Yes. Let me show you that here. Here's the the pith of the uh, log. And as you can see, it's, it goes down and back up, up almost to the top. And continues on in a big zigzag pattern. And this is just one section of the tree. Hopefully the whole tree is not like this. So the pith was zigzagging and we had a, a large crack going down here. Uh, one of them popped right open. And also some sort of weird crack here. Now that like a cathedral grain pattern. Uh, must have been a branch growing up through there. So it was an interesting log. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, please remember to like, <coughs> excuse me, uh, like and subscribe and share and we'll see you again next time. Oh, I've got to get a shot of Andy shoveling.